I'm Fukugawa Tetsuya, 25 years old. I work as a chef at Ryotsei Nanakuma. My dream is to own my own restaurant someday. I'm back! Mana's home. I'm living at my parents' place to save money. But since my sister Mana started college this year, she's also living at home, so I don't get much time to myself. Or maybe I'll go to my room. Oh, hey, Tetsuya. I brought Kia with me. Hope it's okay to drop by. She's Kyoko Saito. Ever since Mana started college, she's become friends with her and comes over to hang out often. Uh, are you alright? I'm not great at socializing. Zero dating experience. When I saw her, I noticed how skinny she had become compared to when we first met. Tetsuya, you'll catch a cold if you sleep on the couch. Oh, Mana. Huh? That was a girl next to my sister. Oh, this is Kyoko. We ended up sitting next to each other in a class at college and became friends. <laughs> Hi there. She laughed at me. Mana, if you're bringing friends over, let me know beforehand. It's embarrassing to be seen like this by such a cute girl. Sorry for coming over without warning. No worries. You don't have to worry about my brother. If you have a problem, you should live alone. If I could do that, I would have done it already. I'm heading to my room. Oh, please don't mind me. You can stay with us too. It's okay, really. My brother isn't good at talking to girls, so he probably won't say much even if we're here. My sister is saying unnecessary things. Is that so? I wanted to talk more. What a shame. Yoko seems like a really nice girl. She was so much healthier back then. Yoko, she collapsed at university today. Wait, Mana! They said she's suffering from malnutrition. When I asked her, I found that she hasn't been eating properly, so I brought her home forcefully. Without dieting, how does she end up malnourished? Is her life really that tough? Hey, Tetsuya, please, cook something for her. You're asking too much of your brother. I'll make something now, so just wait. You might suck at everything else, but at least your cooking skills are solid. Just my cooking skills, huh? That's rude, you know. There you go. It's nothing fancy, though. You have to eat since your brother went to the trouble of making it. Thank you. I'll dig in. Delicious. I did want to pry into your personal matters, but... But what happened? You know I moved to Tokyo from the countryside and started living on my own, right? Yeah? 
At first, I managed with scholarships and some money from my parents, but then my dad got laid off and couldn't send money anymore. That's tough. So I started working part-time. But since the scholarship I got was interest-free and given to top-performing students, I couldn't work too much. Plus, rent went up, so I had to tighten my budget even more. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I've been worried about you and asked you so many times. Sorry, I didn't want to worry Mana. I was embarrassed about living in such poverty, so I didn't want it to be known. I'm your friend, so lean on me. From now on, my brother will make your meals. Why me? But... I want to grow as a chef, you know? So I'd really appreciate it if you could join me in my training. Huh? Please! Thanks a bunch. After that, Mana started bringing her when I had days off, so I cooked for her every time. And I asked Mana to take the food I made to her. Chef, can I take these ingredients? It's been five years since I graduated from culinary school and started working here. And now I can have normal conversations with the chef and my senior colleagues. I still find it difficult to talk to the landlady and hostess, though. Good. Tomorrow's your day off, so be a waste to let the ingredients go bad. Uh, you're living with your family, right? Uh, do you cook for them? Actually, my sister's friend is this really skinny and poor girl. So I'm cooking for her. Oh, I see. Uh, then take this, too. Nice sea bream. Are you sure? It's a reward for your kindness. Thanks a lot, Chef. Here we go. Wow, this looks fancy. Can I really eat such an expensive looking dish? Got it from the chef. Let's see you hardly ever cooked at home, even after working as a chef, right? Got a thank you, go. Both of you, stop with the unnecessary talk. <laughs> oh, she laughed. It's not like the old days, but I hope little by little we can go back to how things used to be. I'll help with the dishes. Thanks. After eating my cooking, she always helps with the cleanup. Today's meal was really delicious. I'm glad. She's so close. You're amazing to cook such delicious food. Can you teach me some time? Sure. Lately, she's been getting close and affectionate, and the distance feels really small. I always feel my heart racing. Um, I need to sharpen the knife. It's dangerous, so stay back a bit. Oh man, I don't know how to talk to girls. Six months later. On this day, she was having dinner at home. Kyoko, you're looking a lot better now. Your skin is beautiful. You're really pretty. It's thanks to Tetsuya. I haven't done anything. I'm home! Ah, oh, Kyoko! Have you gained a little weight? Dad! It's rude to say that to a girl. I meant it in a good way! I mean, she used to be so skinny. After that, Dad got scolded by Mom and Mana the whole time. Scary. Did I gain weight? Um... Gotta avoid making the same blunder as Dad. But what should I say? Uh, you haven't gained weight, but don't worry about it. Oh man, I wish I could say something cute or nice. It's my fault you were told that. Huh? So, you don't have to worry about anything. You can blame it all on me. 
I'm going to my room. Dang it, I'm terrible at this. I'm bad with words. Tetsuya, can I talk to you for a sec? Huh? Kyoko? Uh, what's up? You told me it's your fault that it turned out like this, right? Yeah. So, I want you to take responsibility for me. What do you mean by that? Would you be my boyfriend? That's too much responsibility. Do you dislike me? If I didn't like you, I wouldn't bother cooking for you. Then why won't you be my boyfriend? I've never had a girlfriend before. In fact, I'm not good at talking to girls. What's there to be attracted to about someone like me? Since I became poor and skinny, the guys who used to talk to me started avoiding me. Not only that, but I started hearing whispers about me being a skeleton girl or malnourished. That's terrible. You and Mana were the ones who reached out to me in that situation. I just cooked because Mana asked me to. Maybe so. But every time you cooked for me, it brought me comfort. And not only when you came over, but also when you delivered food in my place, I was really happy. Anyone would help out in a situation like yours. As I spent time with you, I was drawn to your quietness, kindness, and thoughtfulness. Yoko. It's not just because you cooked for me. I really fell for you. Are you sure about me? It's you I want. Got it. Huh? I want to be with you. Yes. I'm happy my feelings reached you. Wow. Tetsuya, Kyoko, congrats! Huh? Mana? Ah, oh, Mana. Sorry, after I nudged Kyoko to go to your room, I couldn't help but eavesdrop. There's a difference between right and wrong, you know. I was just worried about you guys. As a cupid of your love, I have the right to know. Mana, thanks a lot for introducing me to Tetsuya. I'm grateful to you for that, too. Yeah. I didn't see you guys kissing, so don't worry. Kissing is a... I just gave him a peck on the cheek. Hmm, so Tetsuya still doesn't have that kind of courage. Shut up! Ten years later. Welcome! I become the head chef of my own little restaurant. Thanks for coming. My wife Kyoko works as the landlady. Congrats on opening your little restaurant! You've made your dream come true. Thanks to Kyoko, who's been supporting you all along. No, it's because of his hard work. Dad? Now what's up? Wanna check out my restaurant? Yeah! We have a son and are living happily ever after. When I grow up, I want to be a chef just like Dad. <laughs> That's something to look forward to. I never imagined such a happy future for me, being someone who struggles to talk to women. I achieved my dream, but the real challenge begins now. I'll work my hardest to protect my family's happiness. 